Good morning. Uh, my name is Nader Sadeg, and it's my pleasure to be giving a short presentation on uh, the uh, new concentration area of automation and robotics. So let me just uh, give a brief overview. Oops. <coughs> so in this concentration area, we will uh, provide an in-depth or the students will go through an in-depth study into design, control, and operation of industrial automation and robotic systems. One of the um, good features of this area is that it's fairly multidisciplinary. We're not limiting ourselves into, you know, certain area of mechanical engineering or, um, you know, uh, just, just a, you know, particular area. It's fairly multidisciplinary and has a in fact, uh, significant interface with, uh, with other uh, schools like, you know, electrical engineering, uh, aerospace, uh, and uh, many other schools around campus. So um, the areas include, uh, application areas uh, include, but not limited to these areas, automotive industry certainly is one, aerospace, manufacturing, healthcare, and also service sector. So here are some of the applications uh, in uh, automotive industry. As uh, many of you know, robots are used a uh, great deal uh, for in auto assembly plants uh, for applications like welding, um, painting, um, and um, you know, and general assembly. Also, um, again, if you're if you're going to be um, specialized in this area, you uh, your main emphasis doesn't even have to be robotics because we've got, um, you know, um, other courses than robotics that uh, will, uh, you know, um, teach you the fundamentals uh, you need in um, system modeling, controls, and so on. So uh, one of the, the application area, non-robotic application area, is in automotive systems. An example include, uh, you know, many of the... Um, uh, controllers that are used in an automobile, you know, like engine control or, you know, transmission control and also hybrid electric vehicles. Um, so let me just give you um, some other um, applications, uh, space and underwater robotics. Um, so many of you are familiar with the uh, space shuttle uh, arm. Um, that's a certainly a huge uh, um, flexible robotic system uh, that needs to be um, definitely controlled. Um, here also you see um, other applications, uh, you know, NASA of course uh, uh, does a lot of work in robotics and not only space robotics but recently has, uh, there has been a lot of interest also in on underwater robotics. The other area of application is in uh, biomedicine or biomedical applications like uh, um, robots that uh, assist physicians in surgery. So you can see these uh, robots are actually performing <laughs> surgery, it seems like, on the patient and um, in other areas. So let me talk a little bit about the courses that uh, you're going to have to um, take under this concentration area. Um, most of the courses you see here are existing uh, ME courses. Uh, we have develop, uh, developed uh, um, a few uh, new courses uh, to go with, uh, with our existing courses. So uh, the required courses um, are um, machine design and the newly developed control of dynamic systems. So, uh, these are going to be required of everyone. And then you can choose any of the, um, the f uh, any four from this following list. Um, first one being advanced structural vibrations, which is currently an elective course as well. Um, second one, uh, 4012, is also an existing course, modeling control of uh, uh, motion with uh, lab component and a robotics course, which actually I'm teaching this semester, undergraduate robotics, uh, microprocessor control of manufacturing systems. And we've listed here 
um, several courses from other schools like an ISYE course uh, on robotics and also um, a couple of um, college computing courses. So, um, so these are uh, courses you need to take to uh, get your certificate in, in this concentration area. And here's a list of uh, the faculty members with uh, primary interest in, uh, in our research group, Automation and Mechatronics. Um, and uh, I did not specifically list the, the research, ongoing research pro projects in ME or on campus. It's, uh, the list is very long. We'll uh, probably go over that in the more detailed presentation next time. Any questions?